Lisa Helps and I'm the Mayor of Victoria and I'm just going to share a little bit about the facilitation techniques that I use in my community drop-in. Um, every two weeks I open the doors of this office and uh, invite people in, uh, pour some coffee and tea and I always begin by asking what is the agenda? Uh, and depending on the number of people here, the agenda can be very short, as it was last time, uh, or very long. Um, and my commitment is, uh, regardless of whether we've got five topics or 15 topics, we will get through all of them. And that does require strong facilitation from time to time. So once I've said, what is the agenda, um, I begin by laying the ground rules for the space and how we're going to share it together for the hour and a half. I let people know that once the agenda is set, um, the person whose topic it is will get to speak first. Uh, and then as I go through the topics, I invite the person whose topic it is to speak first. And then, even though they've come here to see me, the next thing I do, for the most part, is allow other people in the room to share their thoughts on that topic. And that, I think, is a technique because it takes um, focus off me as the facilitator and as the mayor and puts it back into the community. And I do that really deliberately because sometimes people come here looking for the mayor or the city to solve the problem that they might have, but really the solutions are right there in the community. So we go through uh, each agenda item and uh, after the community's had a conversation, then I do pipe up and say, you know, here's my take or here's what I can do or have you thought about this? And I guess the style that I use is a blend of sheer intuition um, and also, uh, I guess, curious and generous, if those can be called facilitation techniques. Uh, sometimes people come into this office very, very angry. And all they want to do is say what they're angry about. And as a facilitator, um, and, and as the mayor, I guess I'm playing two roles. But I put the facilitator role first, because if I put the mayor role first, then I have uh, the potential to be reacting as mayor rather than being the facilitator to try and draw out what is the kernel, what is actually being said here. And I think that's the role of me as facilitator versus me as mayor. The mayor can respond and figure out how to solve the problem, but the facilitator needs to really listen. And so that requires curiosity and generosity, particularly when people are angry. So sometimes people come in here very angry about a particular topic, and if you just listen and then ask a question that isn't blaming or kind of trying to put it back on them, but ask a question as a facilitator of curiosity, then we start to unpack their anger and then we get to what the kernel is. And then after that, we can actually have a real conversation about the issue in a way that the anger is kind of set aside. Um, and I find that those kinds of, I guess, disarming techniques that comes from really genuinely listening and really genuinely trying to understand um, is, is critically important as a facilitator and also as anyone interested in bringing the community together to solve problems. Something inspirational. Something inspirational. <laughs> when you saw it, one time when, when you saw it really worked. Um, well, there was... I, there was a, a couple of weeks ago, there was a, um, a protest camp, uh, people camping outside um, at uh, outside the Songhees condos, and people, the, the Songhees residents came in here very, very angry, very angry, and, and, you know, all they wanted me to do was make the camp go away, and through an actual conversation, that we spent about an hour working through the issues, unpacking it from their point of view, understanding their point of view, understanding the point of view of people who are camped outside, understanding the point of view of the federal government that stopped funding housing, understanding, I would say, six different perspectives. At the end, um, not only were people less angry, but they had a better understanding of the problem, and I think they felt that I was actually, as mayor, listening to their concerns. It was brilliant. Yeah, well, that Thank was, you, Lisa. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.